Microscope Slide, Wikipedia Article Audio A microscope slide is a thin flat piece of glass, typically 75 by 26 mm and about 1 mm thick, used to hold objects for examination under a microscope. Typically the object is placed or secured on the slide, and then both are inserted together in the microscope for viewing. This arrangement allows several slide-mounted objects to be quickly inserted and removed from the microscope, labeled, transported, and stored in appropriate slide cases or folders. History Dimensions and Types Mounting Dry Mount Wet Mount or Temporary Mount Prepared Mount or Permanent Mount Strew Mount Mounting Media Examples of Mounting Media Aqueous Non-Aqueous Contrasting with other types slash meanings of mounting Microscope slides are often used together with a cover slip or cover glass, a smaller and thinner sheet of glass that is placed over the specimen. Slides are held in place on the microscope stage by slide clips, slide clamps or a cross table which is used to achieve precise, remote movement of the slide upon the microscope stage. The origin of the concept was pieces of ivory or bone containing specimens held between discs of transparent mica, that would slide into the gap between the stage and the objective. These sliders were popular in Victorian England until the Royal Microscopical Society introduced the standardized glass microscope slide. A standard microscope slide measures about 75 mm by 25 mm and is about 1 mm thick. A range of other sizes are available for various special purposes, such as 75x50 mm and for geological use, 46x27 mm for petrographic studies, and 48x28 mm for thin sections. Slides are usually made of common glass and their edges are often finely ground or polished. Microscope slides are usually made of optical quality glass, such as soda lime glass or borosilicate glass, but specialty plastics are also used. Fused quartz slides are often used when ultraviolet transparency is important, e.g. in fluorescence microscopy. While plain slides are the most common, there are several specialized types. A concavity slide or cavity slide has one or more shallow depressions, designed to hold slightly thicker objects, and certain samples such as liquids and tissue cultures. Slides may have rounded corners for increased safety or robustness, or a cut-off corner for use with a slide clamp or cross table, where the slide is secured by a spring-loaded curved arm contacting one corner forcing the opposing corner of the slide against a right-angled arm which does not move. If this system were used with a slide which did not incorporate these cut-off corners, the corners would chip and the slide could shatter. A graticule slide is marked with a grid of lines that allows the size of objects seen under magnification to be easily estimated and provides reference areas for counting minute objects. Sometimes one square of the grid will itself be subdivided into a finer grid. Slides for specialized applications, such as cell counting, may have various reservoirs, channels, and barriers etched or ground on their upper surface. Various permanent markings or masks may be printed, sandblasted, or deposited on the surface by the manufacturer usually with inert materials such as PTFE. Some slides have a frosted or enamel-coated area at one end, for labeling with a pencil or pen. Slides may have special coatings applied by the manufacturer, e.g. for chemical inertness or enhanced cell adhesion. 
the coating may have a permanent electric charge to hold thin or powdery samples. Common coatings include polyl lysine, silanes, epoxy resins, or even gold. The mounting of specimens on microscope slides is often critical for successful viewing. The problem has been given much attention in the last two centuries and is a well-developed area with many specialized and sometimes quite sophisticated techniques. In a dry mount, the simplest kind of mounting, the object is merely placed on the slide. A cover slip may be placed on top to protect the specimen and the microscope subjective and to keep the specimen still and pressed flat. This mounting can be successfully used for viewing specimens like pollen, feathers, hairs, etc. It is also used to examine particles caught in transparent membrane filters. In a wet mount, the specimen is placed in a drop of water or other liquid held between the slide and the cover slip by surface tension. This method is commonly used, for example, to view microscopic organisms that grow in pond water or other liquid media, especially when studying their movement and behavior. Care must be taken to exclude air bubbles that would interfere with the viewing and hamper the organism's movements. An example of a temporary wet mount is a lactofuxin mount, which provides both a sample mounting, as well as a fuxin staining. For pathological and biological research, the specimen usually undergoes a complex histological preparation that involves fixing it to prevent decay, removing any water contained in it, replacing the water with paraffin, cutting it into very thin sections using a microtome, placing the sections on a microscope slide, staining the tissue using various stains to reveal specific tissue components clearing the tissue to render it transparent and covering it with a cover slip and mounting medium. Strew mounting describes the production of palynological microscope slides by suspending a concentrated sample in distilled water, placing the samples on a slide, and allowing the water to evaporate. The mounting medium is the solution in which the specimen is embedded, generally under a cover glass. Simple liquids like water or glycerol can be considered mounting media, though the term generally refers to compounds that harden into a permanent mount. Popular mounting media include permount, glycerol jelly, and Hoyer's mounting medium. Properties of a good mounting medium include having a refractive index close to that of glass, non-reactivity with the specimen, stability over time without crystallizing, darkening, or changing refractive index, solubility in the medium the specimen was prepared in, and not causing the specimen stain to fade or leach. Popularly used in immunofluorescent cytochemistry where the fluorescence cannot be archived. The temporary storage must be done in a dark moist chamber. Common examples are used when a permanent mount is required. In contrast to mounting necessary for glass cover slips, somewhat similar mounting can be done for bulkier specimen preservation in glass containers in museums. However an entirely different type of mounting is done for sample preparation, which can be for biological or non-biological materials and is further subdivided into hot and cold type mounting processes. Though named mounting, it is more akin to embedding in histology and should not be confused with the mounting described above. The term mounting in other fields has numerous other meanings. Mount, numerous meanings of mounting.